Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini, okay? This is for Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. Cheers a little off. Let me come down here a little bit. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I don't know if you're dealing with an Earth sign. I, this is my second Gemini reading. The other one, it cut off at the end, and it just I figured I'd just do another one. But in that one, I saw it too, right at the beginning. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, feels like you are. I saw the Queen of Pentacles both times. So I feel like you're dealing with an Earth sign or somebody that has something. They're going to be giving you something, giving you something solid, something real, you know. This could also be a job, an offer, or money. You may be securing something, securing some money. Um, I keep seeing the Queen of Pentacles, so that's stable. It's a stable, it's stability. It's stability. You could be taking on that energy. Maybe you're you're receiving some sort of financial stability, or you're going to see an increase, or you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody that somebody's going to be giving you something by the looks of things. That's what I think. And I think it's, I don't know, somebody that has money or you're going to be re obtaining some money, holding on, your increase. I think I just saw, said all that, right? You know I like to repeat myself. Anyhow, what do we got for a message? We need a couple cards. Oh, and we got three. I think we'll take those. Ooh. Reconciliation. So there's some sort of reconciliation here, pineapple. Now immediately a lot of you think, oh, I'm not reconciling with my ex. Well, I'm not either. But that could be a reconciliation with anybody. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, whatever. There's some, there's some sort of reconciliation here. Staff. Staff. You will be taken care of. In a difficult situation so you're going to be taken care of fly a period of ill health or depression so and this is for you so it is for you but I also want to say that I'm wondering if you're dealing with somebody that is ill I wonder if you're dealing with somebody that is ill um, it may not be you. Something is definitely off, and I'm going to say it because I just did a Gemini reading, okay? Something is off. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely ill, okay? And I don't, I don't think it's you. I think you're dealing with somebody that is ill. They're sick. They're not healing. Um, they won't get help. It's either some sort of addiction, drugs, alcohol, or they're just sick. They're not healing. They're sick. You know, they have a, some sort of issue. They're not healing. Um, they could be reconciling. There's some, you know, if it's not you reconciling, you could be dealing with somebody that is reconciling with another person. Um, but either way, you are going to be taken care of in a difficult time. And there is a difficult time here. So get yourself prepared for a difficult time and just know that you are going to be taken care of. You are dealing with somebody that I would say is a psychic vampire. I guess that's the best description of it. This person is, or they're just, this person is a psychic vampire or they're delusional. Okay, there's some, there's some sort of delusion here. And uh, or paranoia or, or mental, mentally imbalanced. There's somebody around you that is ill in some way. We had the first card out was a temperance reversed. So this person is mentally imbalanced. Something is off. Something is off with somebody that you are dealing with. And in this deck, I wonder if they're still on there. Yes. Okay. We had bad advice, bad advice from a friend or family member. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody that is giving you bad advice. They're, they don't, they're not mentally capable of giving you good advice. This was the second card that came out. Drama queen. 
So you're dealing with somebody that is a drama queen. Okay, they, they cause a lot of drama in your life. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle, and we're going to get new cards. Oh, these just fell out. Drama queen and Virgo. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. I went to shuffle and pick them out, and these came flying out. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or whoever. I'm not sure who you're dealing with. could be a Virgo sun, moon, or rising. Um, something could also happen during Virgo season. But anyway, I am going to shuffle, and we're going to see what comes up. What do we have for Gemini? Um, something is definitely off. Oh, we got one fell out. Ooh, we have an opportunity that is in the palm of your hand. We're going to take that. That is a golden opportunity. It's interesting because I saw the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is a windfall or it is an increase in money. It's an investment that is paying out. The, receiving something that is real, that is solid, this is something you asked for, this is manifestation, this is a gift, or it's an opportunity, okay? This is an opportunity that can lead to something solid, stable, secure, permanent. Um, you definitely have an opportunity right in the palm of your hand. Um, somebody is going to be giving you an opportunity, or you're just going to be investing in something that can really lead you to permanent success in some way. Because the Ace of Pentacles is something solid, okay? Something you can hold on to, just like the Queen of Pentacles. So you're, you're receiving something. Something that you are investing in is going to pay out, okay? It's going to pay off. What do we have for... It might not pay off till Virgo season, though. When's Virgo season? Uh, end of August into September. I don't know when it exactly starts. Virgo, August 23rd to September 22nd. Flirt! Extend your light-hearted energy to others. I think you are going to be flirting with somebody. Um, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I do think that you have a soulmate around you. And a soulmate doesn't have to be a lover. Okay, a friend, a family member. You have somebody, it could be a business partner that you work with forever, okay? Anyhow, you have to keep an open mind because your soul, keep an open mind. That's what I've been trying to say from the beginning of this reading. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You do have an opportunity here. Um, you're, I feel like you're going to be reconciling with somebody that is probably one of your, your soulmates, okay? And this, and when I say reconciliation, I'm going to say it one more time. It doesn't have to be a lover. Reconciliation could be somebody from a past life that you connected with in a past life, past life and you have some sort of unfinished business and now you're coming together i do think you're going to be flirting with this person you know and 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 you can flirt with a friend okay you flirt, that's how you get to know people you know you open up the conversation with a smile you know whatever anyhow i do believe that there is um or candor or whatever the, it's flirting okay you're being called to extend your light-hearted energy to others you have a golden opportunity in the palm of your hand keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations there's going to be a reconciliation with somebody that is part of your soul circle okay Fool, beginning of a new journey, starting fresh, starting from scratch. This is a new beginning. It's a new phase. You have a new phase. You're beginning a new phase of life. Knight of Wands. It's like you are on a new journey. Some of you have left something behind. You've already, you've stepped over the edge, right? You're, you're starting a new chapter in your life. And look at this. Coming, it's right behind the fool card. Somebody's coming in. This is this is a fierce, okay. This is somebody coming in fiercely, a fierce, fierce arrival. Um, 
I feel like you have an exciting, this is exciting, an exciting new beginning here. This is very, uh, oh, this is passionate. Act now, think later, just do it, just do it. Don't have any fear. You need to do something. You need to do something. Leave, leave your fears behind. Step into unknown territory. You have a new beginning here. This is exciting. This is something real. It's something solid. Three of Pentacles reversed. High Priestess. Highly intuitive. Observa observing, observation. Some of you are, well, we have a, the, the Fool card is very spiritual as well. Very, very spiritual energy, spiritual connection. Mm -hmm. You have a deep spiritual, let me just rub my foot on the bottom of the chair if that's what you heard, I have bare feet. Um, stepping into new territory, very fast, very quickly. There's a divine connection here, a spiritual connection. We have a free spirit here. This is definitely uh, highly intuitive. Just go for it. Something about just go for it. We have, a, we have some sort of divine guidance here as well. Three of Pentacles reversed. Don't listen to anybody but yourself. That came up in the other reading as well. Your intuition, you need to, and it's interesting because of that bad advice from a friend or family member that I showed you. I'm glad I showed that to you. Listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. You're going to have to do take a risk in some way because the Fool card is risky. So is isn't the Knight of Wands. So you're going to you're going to be put in a position where you have to take a risk, where you have to take action right now. Act now, think later, do it. Just do it. Listen to your gut. Your gut says to do it. Do it. The, the, let me get the 3 of pentacles reversed. There's somebody that I don't know if there's a couple people and remember, I said bad advice from a friend or family member. That's bad advice. Three of Pentacles reversed. You've got some people around you or a person around you that is, may give you some bad advice. They, they, they're they going off of their experiences. You go off of your own. Okay, this is your journey. This is your journey. This is your life. They're, to hell with them. You have to, you're going to be put in a position where you need to take time to reflect and observe and make a choice, make some sort of decision, listen to your intuition. I feel like your intuition is going to tell you to leap, to do this, just do it. It may not be your usual type or your usual situation, you know, just do it. Just do it. Don't, don't let the, the bad advice or whoever it is that is giving you advice, this person doesn't respect you. It's not good advice. It's not good advice. Whoever's giving you advice, they're very impulsive. They don't think. You think for yourself. You think for yourself. The, in, the fool card is a card of self, and so isn't the high priestess. You think for yourself. That's a message that you need to hear. You're going to be receiving advice from somebody that is lazy. This is a repeat of the last reading. This person is lazy. They don't work hard. They don't want to see your success. You have golden opportunity in your hand. They want to see you fall. Somebody wants to see you fall. Like I said, you have a psychic vampire about around you. I'm positive that you do. Um, this person is not healthy. With first card out was the temperance reverse. This person is very unhealthy. They're frustrated. Uh, they don't want you to have better. They want you to stay where you're at. They don't want you to get more. They want you to stay where you're at. You need to step into new territory and do not let them hold you back. We have the devil reverse, which is severing ties. You're going to need to sever ties with somebody. This person does not have your back. We have the moon reversed as well. They're, they're in a dark, 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 dark place. Okay? And misery loves company. So I'm sorry that I'm repeating the reading, but it is what it is. I have to. I feel like you have an opportunity here to reconnect with somebody. It could be from a past life. This is a, some sort of soulmate connection, and somebody will say, oh, no, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, well, you know, you go do your thing. I'm going to do mine. I'm going to take this risk. You need to take a risk. This is risky business, and I think that you should do it. 
This is going to bring you success. It's going to bring you long-term stability. It's going to bring you something solid. It's going to bring you something permanent. Okay, you are being taken care of. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. Do not let this flighty individual who does not want you to succeed hold you back from your journey. This is your journey, not theirs. Okay? I think that you are highly intuitive at this time. I feel like you're going to be receiving messages that you need to leave something behind. You need to start a new chapter. You need to leave baggage behind. The fool starts a journey with not bringing the baggage. It just brings the experiences, leaves the baggage. There's some sort of baggage that you lead, need to leave behind. Okay? Very Right now. Right now. There's no time to waste with the Knight of Wands. Right now. You need to do something. You're going to be put in a position where you're going to have to act. You're going to have to act right now. Listen to your intuition. Nobody else's. Okay? Your intuition is very, very, very high. Okay? There's gifted here. There's gifted. Okay, you have the power to manifest anything that you want. The high priestess has a divine connection. And the, and the ace of pentacles is manifestation. You have a gift. You, are, you have a spiritual gift. The, the fool is a spiritual gift. This is somebody who just does it. You know, I'm just going gonna, gonna to do this. My gut is telling me to do this. I'm not going to listen to anybody else. That's going to bring you prosperity. You not listening to anybody but your gut is going to bring you prosperity, okay? Star reversed. Why is this happening? Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have Aries here a couple times. Not happy. The star reverse, that is a, that is depression. We have somebody here that is depressed. And they don't have the skills. They're not shining. Because they're choosing not to. They're not putting in effort. You need to take action in some way. You have to go after your dreams. Do not let this person dim your shine. You've got somebody here who wants to dim your shine. Page of Swords in reverse. That is an enemy disguised as a friend. I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. You've got somebody around you that is not your friend. This is an enemy or a hater. Somebody that is wearing a disguise. Okay? You have somebody around you that you cannot trust and you need to be prepared for an unexpected conflict from somebody who wants control. They want power. They want some sort of power over you. Somebody is headed right towards you. This person is depressed, unfortunately. It's interesting that I said misery loves company. This person is uh, unfaithful. This person um, doesn't believe, doesn't have faith. When I say unfaithful, I don't mean unfaithful in a marriage sense or a, I feel like they don't have any faith. They don't believe. They don't, you know what I mean? It's not unfaithful sexually. This person doesn't have faith. They don't have, they don't believe. They don't have hope. They have a lot of self-doubt. You have somebody and they want to, they're miserable. You got miserable. You got a miserable person here that doesn't work well with others, that doesn't respect others, that doesn't communicate well. Three of Pentacles reversed. I just went over. Uh, this person doesn't doesn't work as a team. They're coming after you. They're coming in. They're coming in because they see your free spirit. They see your gift. They see that you have a gift of some sort. This person wants power. They want control. This is somebody that is very, very forceful. They're coming towards you. They're behind your back right now. They're, you can't see them. You've started your new journey. This is exciting. You're using your intuition. You're in, you know, you're in a good place. This person is coming up. They're coming up. They're coming in behind you. Um, this person um, is not what you asked for. 
There could be somebody that is coming into your life that is not very spiritual. And maybe you're going to be teaching them about spirituality. This is some, I don't know, it feels like it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is coming in very fast, okay? They're right, they're coming in. They're coming in. You may be teaching them something. I feel like you're going to be starting a journey with this person. Starting a new chapter. But there's some sort of lack of teamwork here. Because of that three of pentacles reversed, there's lack of communication, lack of skills. Maybe they're just not skilled spiritually. Maybe they don't know anything about spirituality. They don't know anything about intuition. They don't, they don't believe. They don't believe. And you're going to teach them about that. Because the high priestess is a spiritual teacher. She teaches, he or she teaches spirituality. I feel like you have some sort of gift that can uh, make you some money. Or something like that with the Ace of Pentacles. But I do believe that there is somebody that is coming in very fast. This is somebody that is very attractive. You're going to be attracted to this person. This person is strong. This person is uh, protective. This person is a visionary. I feel like it's interesting because I feel like this, even though this person doesn't believe it may be in the same things that you believe in, I feel like they are interested. I feel like they're interested. I feel like they'll listen. But then again, that three of pentacles reversed, that's lack of teamwork. It's lack of respect. It's lack of knowledge, though. Maybe they just don't know. Or maybe they just weren't respected. Maybe they don't have very much hope. There's a lack of hope here. There's a lack of believing. There's a self-doubt. We may have somebody here that doubts that you'll work with them because of your gift. You know, maybe they're intimidated by you. Maybe they're intimidated by your strength. I do believe that you are going to be starting a new chapter at this time. I feel like you are highly awakened. You are highly spiritual. I feel like there is somebody that is coming in that you are going to be teaching something to. You're going to be teaching this person. I don't know. I think it's about spirituality. I don't know why I think that, but I do. I, do. I think it's about spiritual. I feel like this person... I don't know if they've been miserable or they've been in a state of mind where they've been really depressed. They've lost hope. Maybe they've lost hope in humanity. But I feel like this person that is coming in is strong. I feel like they are dependable. I feel like this person is feisty. I feel like this person is attractive to you. I think that they're I, feel, I think that they're attracted to you. I don't feel like they're going to give up. I feel like this person is not going to uh oh, this page of swords is using an enemy disguised as a friend. Unexpected conflict, trouble with communication. The Three of Pentacles reversed the trouble with communication as well. Maybe that's where the poor advice comes from. You may have a friend that says to you, don't trust this person. You have somebody coming in that is... A force to be reckoned with. This person is strong. They are attractive. They are um, adventurous. This person is uh, smart. But I feel like you've got somebody around you that is going to try to cause conflict. They're going to tell you that something is off with this person. <coughs> Listen to your gut. Don't listen to them. 
They don't want you to work with somebody else. They're jealous. This is jealousy. Absolutely. <coughs> This person that is coming in is not who you asked for and that's why your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. They're different. They're different. And somebody is going to give you poor advice that tells you that you shouldn't communicate with them. You shouldn't work with them. Blah, 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 blah. That's the miserable individual. Do not let them cause you to lose your faith, faith in your own intuition. You have to have faith. The Fool card is about faith. Have faith in your gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Have faith in yourself. Do not let other people make decisions for your life. You got somebody around you that does not want you... I feel like this person wants you to be successful. They want to they want to keep the control that they have. They don't want you to work with somebody else. But you have somebody right here that can help you and you can help them. It's like you guys can help each other to grow spiritually. Anyhow, I think you're starting a new journey with a soulmate, but you got somebody around you that doesn't want you to. I think that you are shining. I think that you are in a very powerful position and you have somebody that does not want you to work with whoever this person is. or They don't want you to communicate with this person. They don't want you to have interaction with this person. They don't want you to connect with this person. Whoever this person is that is going to cause conflict, and they are going to cause conflict. They're going to cause a fight, whatever it is. They're going to say things. They're going to do whatever they can to cause a fight. <laughs> Just walk away. Just walk away. That is what I got. So, good luck.